so alone I tied me in a long black breeze Four long feathers that tied them so He cares about everybody, whether he knows them or not, he cares. Very dynamic, he's very spiritual and he's very grounded. He is connected to that higher power and that it will, uh, he will do whatever he needs to do no matter what. He's one of those people that he leaves an imprint on you, hey, like I haven't, like you never forget somebody like that even if you only meet them once. Feels like somebody that can pick you up and lift you up when you're down and hold you from, from all the danger below. I think he's like really inspiring and he's just like that person that you want to be like you want to be a part of him you want to be kind of like him and that really inspired me to see him playing guitar and singing and now I play guitar and I sing. Courage is not the absence of fear rather the one is to go through it right even the best entertainers are afraid every show they go out they're nervous so just imagine the fear leading through your feet. There's always that thing that he says and it just clicks in your head like, oh, yeah, I need to start doing that more often or I, you know, I need to just keep myself in that mindset. I choose to focus on positive, you know, I mean, positive affirmations, you know, things that produce positivity in my mind, right? Things that help me look at the brighter things in life, right? To so look at the light in the darkness of this obscene world as the media would, ca you know, cause us to think. And as a result of it, you know, I remain very positive. And when things do happen, right, that I feel are wrong, right, or I feel aren't just, or I feel are unfair, I don't dwell on them as long because I have something. I have three to one. I think of three positive affirmations just to one, right, in order to stop that because my mind has been trained to think negative for so long, right, as a result of my upbringing, as a result of the time that I did in jail, right, as a result of hanging around the peer group that I did, Right? as a result of gravitating towards the people that I chose to settle, to hang around with because I was so insecure in myself, because I lived in a lot of fear, fear of being judged, fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, fear of inadequacy, fear of being worth less, you know what I mean? Fear of God, fear of not being deserving of good, you know? And so, anytime I see negative, I just remove myself away from the situation, right? I find positive people to be able to hang around with because you know what, I just feed myself with positive and as a result of it, I feel a lot more positive. He's uh, definitely driven by a higher power. His uh, ability to, to bring that that's from Creator down through himself and out to others, it's a tangible presence. He's a very gifted being and anything that would inhibit his ability to, to put out his information, his story, his experience, would be not only a tragedy, it would be a crime. Mother Earth gave us life. We're all made from Mother Earth, right? And Father Sky blew the breath of life into us, right? And he started pounding our heart, right? Every time our heart beats, what does it beat? Spirit, right? Our spirit is our energy. Our spirit is our inspiration, right? Our spirit is what guides us. He thinks it's very important for kids to learn to um, care about themselves and respect themselves. A lot of them don't have a, pale, a, a positive male role model in their life, and uh, it's, he's, he's all of that. He's, he's all of that and more to a lot of these kids. I want you to say, I can do anything I want to do. I can do anything I want to do. Say, I respect myself. I respect myself. And when you speak nicely to yourself, then you're respecting yourself. When you think good thoughts about yourself, you are respecting yourself. Earl is such a caring person. His children come first. It's always my, my child is my child anthem. I know he really loves his children. He ran through that door. I picked you up and wiped your eyes. Held you close to me Let you shed your tears and cry He is a great father and just to see how Donovan has grown uh, it's 
it's amazing. He's he's raised a beautiful, beautiful boy. I just wish that we had more earls out there in the world. I really do, because uh, if we had more earls out there, the place would be a lot um, more safer, um, and a lot would definitely get a lot more loving. <laughs> For love is the greatest of all things. For all that we are is love. If we speak and we think good thoughts about other people, we're being respect. And if we live in love and respect, we can do no wrong. We can make no mistakes because it's about our intentions. If we feel in our hearts and understand our interconnectedness to all people, you know, to all creatures, all beings, and to all of Mother Earth, Brother Fire, Sister Water, Father Sky, our universal Father, then we will always live in love. Because love is a very is a, a spiritual essence of everything that has been created. The Earl has a really a heart of gold, and he's gone out of his way to do uh, benefits and help people in a lot of ways. And now my uh, fiance has worked with him with the homeless people downtown. And um, He's, he's, he's really gone out of his way like, like to help people, um, very sincere. Uh, I know that he's had a share of, of uh, problems in, in his own life, but, um, but his heart is a heart of gold, right? And it's been a pleasure to know him and deal with him over, over the years. And I would hire Earl in a New York Minute because I think that uh, his sincerity shines through uh, to me uh, quite obviously. I was very impressed with Earl in terms of his, um, uh, that, he, that he's sincere, that he uh, cares about the community, uh, and um, that, that he really had a lot of energy to make the right things happen. What can I say? What can I do? I know it's out there. Might be inside of you. The silence kills. The world gets small. As everyone leaves me. As no one wants to know at all. I need to find my way back home. A place of sanctity. It doesn't feel so alone. If anyone knew me, they stay. We need to believe that we are worthy of goodness. We need to believe that we are human beings being human and we will always make mistakes. And the more that we try and hide from these mistakes, the more that we try and repress or suppress, we depress. <laughs> and when we depress, we create a storm within. Our inner world becomes a dis-ease, right? A dis-ease of guilt, a dis-ease of remorse, a disease of fear, a disease of unworthiness, the disease of shame. And when we live in shame, we create an outer world of unmanageability around us. How do I know this? Because I did. I formed these different beliefs about my being. And as a result of these beliefs, I beat myself up for a very long time. I beat other people up. Did myself harm and other people harm. And I had to learn how I can untangle this web within me in order to find emotional freedom, peace of mind, to live in happiness, to live in love. In order to love other people, we must love ourselves first, right? So let me hear everybody say, I love myself. I love myself. I, love myself. I honor my worth. I the Creator loves me. The Creator loves me. Mother Earth loves me. Mother Earth loves me. Louder than that, Mother Earth loves me. We actually utilize Earl now as a, um, a mentorship program um, in our agency. And these are some pretty challenging young men. And um, he's walked he's walked their walk. All right, you want to start stepping into the solution, right, in your life, which is to create happiness for yourself. And you create happiness for yourself by getting out and socializing and by walking. So three times 20 minutes by Thursday, August 26, 2010. Is that your commitment? Okay, I want you to sign right here. This is your contract. 
anywhere he goes, he walks on the street and he talks to people, and it's like he's a bright light um, in doing all of this. He has a, a tremendous amount of compassion and um, just hope for the future. Earl has been has worked in uh, numerous agencies in the community and has helped a lot of youth while he was working in these agencies. Most people, the professionals in this community, who especially work on the front lines, know, know Earl. He really understands people and he can lift you up when you're feeling down and help you lift yourself back up with inspiring words. He's a very ins inspirational person, definitely is. I think about like the like this one day that he was um, that he was talking and he was just getting his energy up and up and up and I swear to God he was floating. <laughs> like maybe uh, maybe he's an angel. How many of you are proud of who you are? You are proud of who you are. I double. What's that? Double. I'm double. I'm double. Yeah, I'll put up double too because I'm proud of who I am. They're gonna come together They've got all they need to know yeah. They're gonna live forever They'll go on that red road On that red road On that red road